Hi everybody, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Thank you for being here today. Now 60 and Me is a community of women who are over 60 and who still love to play with makeup, skincare, beauty products, and I do reviews and tutorials of products that I think will be of interest to older women. And recently I've had a lot of comments from people asking me to, um, to look for brands that are more representative of clean beauty. In other words, products that don't contain a lot of um, extra um, additives, chemicals, and there's been a lot of press recently about the fact that in most um, most makeup, there are ingredients that are perhaps not as natural as we may like. So I found a brand which is, is, is not an unknown brand, RMS, which um, is a beautiful brand. I actually purchased some of the materials. I would consider this a luxury line, however. These products are not um, a, a drugstore brand. They're, they're more uh, high-end, but I think that when you start to get into these uh, brands that are looking to uh, produce products that are good for your skin and um, you know clean products, you do end up paying a little bit more. But RMS stands for Rosemary Swift, her initials. She has been in the beauty business for years and decided that uh, she needed to start her own makeup line because there was just not anyone she knew doing this. This is in 2008, she formed the company. And she's uh, focused on, not products that are anti-aging, but, but makeup products that help uh, your skin to, um, to, you know, to grow uh, in ways that are, are positive and not be damaged by any additional additives. On her website, it says that all RMS products are free of chemical, uh, harmful chemicals, synthetic preservatives, synthetic vitamins and genetically modified ingredients. So RMS is full of healing nutri nutrients, it says, that work synergistically with the skin and are in harmony with nature and our environment. And one of the key ingredients um, in her products is a cold pressed coconut oil, which is which comes from Thailand. But when you look on their website, some of the ingredients I've never heard of, but they're they're all from nature. And I'll just read a few of them so you can get an idea of what these products are made from. And then I'll do some a demonstration. I've got the foundation. Uh, there's an eye, um, eye polish product, which is fabulous. It's a cream product. And also something called a lip to cheek, which can be used for your cheeks and lips and um, a mascara. Those are the ones I have. Now, she, her product, um, the RMS product that's known most uh, around the world is the what's called the Living Luminizer. And this is a um, highlighter that um, yeah, it's world famous. People are using it everywhere. Celebrities and people who, who really want their skin to look natural, glowing and healthy. And I've got a little bit of this luminizer in a quad that I purchased. So I think I can pretty much show you the uh, product line and then you can make a decision. But I would say they're a luxury line. They're not dr drugstore brand. They're not, not that affordable. And I'll go through the pricing with you as I apply the products. But I think you'll find there's, there's a reason when you start to produce products that require more time and products that are from uh, you know ingredients that are pure the price goes up. But they use, for example, coconut oil I mentioned, jojoba oil, um, this kakudu plum, tamanju oil, rosehip oil, burrito oil, burrito oil, oil, I need my magnifying glass here. And they've got this thing called an adaptogenic herbal blend, which is unique and um, special to the RMS products. But first of all, I'm, I mean, I wanted to mention, first of all, my skin, as I, th I think I said, is 72 years old. So I've got all the normal things that you'd expect in older skin. Um, and I'm kind of at peace with that. I'm not trying to hide anything. I have age spots. You can see them in a couple of places, wrinkles, um, under eye uh, creasing and wrinkles. And so I you know, I'm kind of using makeup these days in a positive way. I'm not trying to get it to hide anything or, you know, to take away the years. I'm just using products that help my skin to be healthy and glow and have some beautiful colors uh, as well that can enhance and, and you know, amplify my, my, my color. So um, let's go first, a couple of things. I've done my eyebrows um, using um, NYX, the, um, what was it called? Lift and, and Switch, or I think it's called. I have to get my magnifying glass out lift and snatch this is a really nice um eyebrow product they probably have got one in the rms line but this has got a kind of a paint like a brush tip and i do just sort of paint it on but i've got that on my eyelashes and that's all i've got other than some cream moisturizer my embrolies which i use all the time i put that on about maybe 15 minutes ago just to let it soak in very small amount this foundation is actually quite 
um, glowy. So I didn't want to, a, a primer that was going to make it even more enhanced. I think that's everything I put on. Oh, I haven't done this yet, but I was going to put a little bit of my Kiehl's um, eye cream on because as I mentioned, <laughs> no surprise, um, I have wrinkles under my eyes. And even though this um, foundation can be used as a uh, eye cream and primer, um, it's I always put a little bit more on just so I can really hydrate and moisturize my eye. eyes. Okay, so let's get started with the with the foundation. The foundation is called the Uncover Up Foundation Cream. It comes in a glass. All of our products come in a glass um, container, which is um, recyclable, and it's a kind of interesting product. Um, I'm actually going to. I've actually put a little bit in the lid. You'll see it's quite a thick um, cream but I'm going to use a brush with a very um, kind of a dense uh, end to it. You can put this on with your fingers, but I put some on the lid here, just tipped it over, and I'm gonna dab the brush in the top of the lid. And I'm gonna start, you don't need a lot of this. <laughs> Every um, introductory video that you see with this uh, RMS Uncover Up Cream Foundation says go easy. Don't have to put a ton of it on your face. I'll do half so you can just kind of see how it goes. This color I think is 22. And you know, like most foundations, you'll probably have to play a bit with the color um, swatching to see what, um, you know, what you can use. And as I mentioned, you can use this under your eyes. So I'll put that up there. And you can see already the glow that's coming. And also the fact that it hid my, my eye, my age spot there which I'm not surprised it does. It's just, it's a, I can't describe this, this foundation really. It's quite thick, but, but creamy at the same time. It's not, um, you know, not a sort of heavy, on which my, since I've done my eyebrows, I'm gonna just be careful that I don't cover up too much, but it's perfect. You can put it on your eyes for as an eye primer as well. And that's half of my face. So you can definitely see what kind of the kind of result that you get. I'm going to just pop a bit more on the brush here and do the other side of my face. I can just grab a bit from the from the jar, I think. Put it on the lid. So um, I'm going to take time. You really should spend time buffing this uh, kind of foundation, and I will do that a bit. That I know you've all got your techniques, and I don't want to take too much time just on the foundation. So let me just finish this here. I should probably speed it up or do something to make it easier to to watch but I have no lipstick on at all of course nothing on my lips so that will all come the colors are really pretty and I think there's about I don't think how many but there's quite a few colors in this in this shade um, choices and I, I I don't know whether this is a bit too yellow for me or not it's one of those it doesn't oxidize a lot but it does get a little bit more beige as I as I've discovered with this in the past so that is the Uncover Up Foundation by RMS. And I'll bring it down a little bit on my neck. Now they do have a bronzer, but I don't have that bronzer, so I'm not gonna use it today. I'm going to use the blush. And I just wanna make sure I've got this blended in under my eyes. I've got my mirror somewhere here. But isn't that a lovely foundation? I think it's really, really pretty. Now, as I mentioned, my skin is you know 72 years old, so it's not, um, you know, it's not gonna work with every uh, product, but I would th I would say this is not a matte uh, or over glossy. It's somewhere in the middle. It's kind of like a satin finish. But I'm going to just hopefully bend it all in to my hair. And okay, <laughs> I think foundation though is so important. If you get that right, everything else kind of goes goes together beautifully. Um, you might want to put some contour on under your your chin. That's kind of what something I would always do. Actually, I do have my um, by Terry. Uh, palette here which just have a bit of a bronzer so maybe I'll take this big fluffy brush and just grab this is um you can probably see the colors there this is the um I'll put the details below so I'll just put a little bit under my of the uh, dark bronzer color I don't want to do anything on the face because I want you to see the colors from the um, RMS products okay that's that for the for a little bit of bronzer I normally would put on my cheeks okay so RMS uh, products, one thing I must say about them is that they are all, they all look the same. So I have got three eyeshadow products that um, look exactly the same from the top and you have to really basically either write on the bottom what they are 
um, or you have to just know. And I've got three colors. The first one is called, I think this is Myth, which is a uh, taupey color. Uh, I'll put these on my hand so you can see. This is Myth. It's really a pretty color. It's, it's a kind of a neutral that you can wear um, you know, by itself or you can put some powder over top of it. In fact, this works beautifully with powder. The second one is called Magnetic. And let me just make sure I've got um, this one right. Wait a second, I've got it in my hand. Purple, um, sort of. It's hard to describe this color, but this is Magnetic. And I'll just put these on my arm so you can see. I love the, the quality of these and the, um, the texture. As I mentioned, I've got some details here about the um, ingredients in the, uh, they've got these burrito oil, um, and it's rich with vitamins that offer super potent antioxidants protection. All, all of these products have got these magical ingredients in them. So I'm going to then just put this one on next to it. These two are hard to see. Can you see that? This is the magnetic and this is the myth, the taupe color. That one's not quite as easy. The third one is a, um, a, a color called, uh, let's see, where's my magnifying glass? I think it's Embrace. Yeah, it's Embrace and it's a pinky color. And that's the one, I'm gonna mix them up today and use two different, two different ones, but I'm gonna use the um, Myth and the this pink Embrace. Okay, let me just put that there. So you can see the three, this is the Embrace, this is the um, Magnetic and here's Myth. But they're really, really pretty products. I'm going to just wipe that off my hand um, and put on to, to apply the, the one that's called Myth. Now, I have given up long ago trying to do too much, um, you know, shading and corners and triangles and edges. Um, I just tend to put things on the lid of my eye. Uh, normally, I would put some um, cream uh, primer by Mario I use all the time, but I just wanted to leave it with the RMS products um, for this particular demonstration. So this I'm going to apply is my is, is the one myth. And it goes on so beautifully. It's like very emollient. Now, the, the challenge and the, well, the upside is the colors are gorgeous. The application is easy. You can do it with your fingers or a brush, which I'm going to use in a second. But they do crease a little bit sometimes because they're so creamy. And for me, I think that's okay. I mean, you can just sort of smudge it. It's, you're not doing a, um, you know, a lot of work on your lids that you can't just take your finger and smudge it in again. So that's the myth that's just by itself beautiful. I've actually uh, taken to putting my Urban Decay Toasted on top of this, and I may just do that. We'll see how this all turns out, but this is one of my favorite eyeshadows. I think I've mentioned it a thousand times, but uh, on top of this particular color, Myth, it's lovely. So it's, it's a nice base as well. Or well, this is just a great use to go out the door with that. It's beautiful. But I'm going to put some of the pink on because I want to show you some different options and colors, and I'll put it on with a brush this time. Very flat brush. And I will do this. I think I'm gonna use my brush for this so I can see what I'm doing. And, and you can see that the color is not overly dramatic. And I, I like that. I mean, I think that as, well, you've got all kinds of choices when it comes to eyeshadows. And whether you like a lot of pigment or, or not is up to you. But I think that's very pretty. And I, I know it's doing goodness for my skin, which is the most important thing. Well, for any age, but especially as you get a little older. And I'm now going to just apply it on the pink on, embrace on the other side too. And yeah, I, yeah I trying to find other, the different products in, in jars that look exactly the same is challenging sometimes. But there you go, that's, that's what it looks like. I think that's really pretty. And then, as I said, you can put powder on top, you can mix the colors, you can put some darker, maybe a cocoa like, um, or something a bit darker on the on the edges if you like, but I think it's pretty. Now, in terms of um, mascara, I'll do my eyes first because I kind of, I'm starting with that, but the mascara that I'm using is called the Peptide. There's, there's a couple of options, but I wanna make sure I get, get all the description for this one. It's called the Peptide. Uh, Propeptide Mascara. It says it strengthens, redensifies, and nourishes your eyes. It's got um, smudge-free, flake-free, flake super long wear, and it's got great ingredients in it, inclu including a little bit of coconut oil, um, co cold pressed, which gives it a certain uh, texture. And I'm going to just put this mascara on. It's, I think this might be a travel size, but it's a very sweet um, container. It's 
beautiful matte packaging and I'm going to put this mascara on with this lovely brush and it's kind of a, it's not quite an hourglass but it's it's thicker than it's thicker than a normal sort of um you know Maybelline Skylar high or something like that but I like it so I'm going to just pop it on and then we'll go on to cheeks so let's see if I can get this without I'm not not going to um uh, curl my eyelashes but you'll see as soon as I put it on what happens it's very nice actually this is only about the third time I've used this so I'm still experimenting can you see the difference it's a really nice mascara for sure and um, I think the most important thing as I'm putting this on is just realizing that it hasn't got any um, is it PFAS? There's, there's a certain chemical that's been identified in lots of mascaras, and um, they are just, you know, now asking us to be careful with that product. I think there's even some legal action that's being taken so that people who are manufacturing waterproof, um, in particular, mascara, will let them let people know that that's actually part of the ingredients. Let me just do the other side here. Turn it around. Okay, so this feels a bit wet, which is okay with me. Just have to be careful not to smudge it on your <laughs> on your eyelids. I think this is very pretty um, mascara. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. So that's the mascara by RMS, and I think they have another volumizing version. But I don't put it on the on the lower lid, so that's it. I think it's really, really pretty. And uh, it's a, this is actually not too different. I think it's about, uh, first of all, the foundation was about $40. This was around 15, I believe, but it is a travel size. But, you know, with mascara, I mean, that's pretty, probably gonna last you three months when you need to buy a new one anyway. So I think that's great. So eyes are done. Let's do cheeks because I really love their cheek to lip products. And I've got a couple of options here to show you. The one is, um, I can just find the box. Um, oh, hold on a minute. This one here is called Demure, and it's a really pretty pink. Now, when I bought this, um, I, I looked at the color, and I will, I'll give you a warning. It's actually beautiful on your cheeks, on your lips. It's very good quality, and it looks nice, but it's super light. And uh, I, so, I, so basically, that I'm going to show you that on my cheeks in a second. But the other um, option I wanted to show was a, a, a quad that um, I purchased um, from RMS, which is kind of a tester of both their cheek to uh, lip and also their luminizer. Now, if I can find it, here we go. Um, it's got four, it's a quad, so it's got four elements to it and it's been well used. I've used it quite a bit the last couple of weeks. So this, these are the two I2 lip colors. This isn't Demure, this is another color, but it looks, it's a bit closer to what the Demure actually is like, although this is mauve, more mauve. And it also has a kind of a brownie color, which if you want a more nude look for lips and cheek. And then this is this luminizer, this living luminizer, which is um, an RMS classic. It's just known around the world. It's considered one of their very best products. And I've used it, as you can see, quite a bit. And um, it, there's a reason, it's really beautiful. And it adds a lovely glow to, to your, um, your blush. So I'm going to use the, these two colors and then I'll show you the demure on my hand. But I will start with the lighter color and just place it on my cheeks and just kind of blend it in with my, with my fingers. Now, can you see immediately how that is starting to blend? I, I'm, I'm hardly pressing at all, but it's just such a very, very beautiful um, color. And it was nice on the, on the lips as well. I'll show you that in a sec. I'm not even kind of disturbing the foundation underneath at all. It's, it's so blendable and it's got incredibly um, wonderful ingredients. Um, I'm going to read the lip to cheek is um, burrito oil native to Brazil. It's really super antioxidant and hydrating. It's got shea butter and seeds from the African Kariti tree. It's got organic shea butter and this, um, which is of course another um, ultimate hydration uh, thing. It's got um, organic coca seed butter. So it's very, very <laughs> hydrating. And I'm going to just continue to blend. Now, I personally like my lip product to be a little more vivid. So I'm going to take this one here, which is a little bit darker color. And these, again, are both cheek. And I'm going to be a little more careful with this because it's a bit darker. And start blending that in. But you can see what it 
you know what it looks like and I think this is really really pretty and you can sort of start around the center of your cheek and then come up more to the hairline and depending on your face shape of course this is all uh, you know, it's careful to do what's best for your face. If you've got a long face, it's probably better to kind of go straight out, but I always go up a little bit too. And I love this color. I think it's just so, so pretty. And I'm going to pop a bit on my lips as well. And if I can just find my mirror, that would be helpful. I can make sure I blended everything. But like I mentioned, it didn't actually pull anything from the foundation. It worked so, so beautifully together. So let me just pop a bit of this on my, on my lips. Usually, or often, when you when you find a, a product that's cheap to li lip, it's good on the cheeks and not on the lips, or the other way around. This one actually is good on both, my opinion. It's just got a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm gonna just take a bit more of that. It's a little darker than I normally would wear myself, you know, just that I wanted to show you the color that you get, that, you know, it pulls it in with the cheek, but I'm just going to also put some of this lighter color on there too, just to give it a bit of a little bit more softer color. I really, really like this. There, what do you think? It's such a beautiful combination. I really, really love it. And I think, as I said, you know, the fact that you can put it on your lips it's not drying, it's, it feels comfortable, the colors blend beautifully together, and then the, it matches and pulls together with the blush. I think it's really lovely. And, it's, and even though I'm wearing peach today, it's a pinky peach color that's, that works. Now this luminizer, I'm going to touch right here. <laughs> it's kind of like gold dust because I only have a little bit left in here. But if you put that on the top of your cheeks, just pat it in. <laughs> just, it's, uh, it's just, unique. I can't even begin to describe. I mean, I actually have a very beautiful um, uh, highlighter by Flower Beauty, um, which is called Day Glow, I think. And it's I've, I've showed that before and I really, really like it. But there's something about this, I don't want to put it too close to the center there, that is just beautiful. That's the Living Luminizer. Again, as you're with older skin, you've got to be a little careful sometimes that you're not putting too much, um, you know, luminescent uh, highlighter on your face because it does highlight the lines and creases. But honestly, I don't see that in this one at all. I really don't. That is the look that I have created with the RMS. There are some other uh, products on the website that you can take a look at. There's certainly different um, eye to cheek products. I've ordered one that's a more of a peachy orange color because I was um, you know, surprised that this uh, demure was so light. Didn't actually show you that, did I? Let me just um, put it on my, I've taken off the other. So this is a demure and you can see how kind of Perp, um, mauvey pink that is and then I'll show you the other two that I used so you on the from the quad I'll just try to get this the, the the light one is actually quite light and then I'll find this darker color and I'll show you those so these are the three this is the demure this is embrace I'm oh, sorry this is um yeah that's embrace and then I don't these are from the quad so you can really, really, uh, sorry, embrace with the eye. That's the, um, this is the one that is too, dim, uh, too light, demure. These are the two from the palette. And they don't have, I don't have colors. Let me have a quick look on here. Oh, they do, they have the colors. Okay, let me tell you what those two colors. I don't think you can actually buy those separately though. So let me just check. Okay, uh, let me leave my magnifying glass, wherever that might have been, I've disappeared. I know the, this is teeny, teeny print. So the, Lost Angel is, is the lighter one. This one here, Lost Angel, and this is Beloved. Don't know whether you can buy those individually, but that's the um, Demure, Lost Angel and Beloved. Lip to cheek. And the other one, of course, I haven't got, the, the, the orange peachy one that I've ordered. But I think this is a beautiful makeup look for older skin. I love the luminescence of the, of the cheek products. I think the lips are beautiful. I think the uh, eye products are just stunning and also very uh, wearable. The mascara I loved. This is it, RMS. Clean line, very, very focused on delivering products that are you know, pure, without any kind of additive, synthetic or uh, artificial. 
and I think it looks beautiful. Yes, it's a little more expensive, um, but I, I personally think to have one little set like this in your in your collection is wonderful. If you can afford it, it's great. If not, you know, there are some other options that are beautiful too, but I wanted to share the RMS with you. And there are some other products um, that are becoming, uh, brands are becoming very um, visible with this clean beauty message. And I'm going to do another video on that because both Ulta and Sephora and other brands, or other sites, have put together lists of clean beauty products. RMS always appears on the top of these lists. So that's where I wanted to start. But if you've got any that you're familiar with that you love for whatever reason, whether it's lack of additives or just the performance on older skin, please let me know and I'll do my best to, to show them to you. But um, this is RMS. I'm happy with it. I love it. Hope that you enjoy it too. And uh, if you have experience with it yourself, please feel, you know, leave some comments below and we will talk again soon. And I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.